one and uh, the i'll be today speaking on the topic which is close to my heart and also a dream project of indian academy of pediatrics this year that is nurturing care for early childhood development we all know that the first 3 years of life are the most critical for brain growth and it is influenced by several factors and the imbalance between the adverse factors and the protective factor affects brain growth physical health and psycho logical development the adverse factors are poverty stunting etc and protective factors include parental education and home environment now according to the lancet this uh, in 2017 it was uh, reported that almost 250 million children in world that is a 43% of the child population are not developing to their developmental optimal developmental potential the risk is varying significantly by low middle and upper middle income countries and you can see india in this purple zone where the risk of not having optimal development is between 40 to 60% so this is and only a few countries which are in the war ravaged area of africa or afghanistan or maybe uh, uh, this is burma so which are having uh, more than 60% uh, deficiency in developmental potential so india is almost uh, uh, 45% children do not achieve their developmental potential that is a estimate so both low maternal schooling and child maltreatment are related to poor child outcomes and when we add these factors the risk for poor outcome increases dramatically so many factors poverty nutritional deficiencies food insecurity high crime communities low quality resources family stress and child abuse and neglect they all contribute to the severity of uh, developmental deficiencies in this part of the world and children in the low middle income country are exposed to a greater number of risk so the issue is a definitely a delay or a problem in achieving optimal childhood development what do we mean or what do we understand by early childhood development early childhood development is a generic term that refers to a child's cognitive social emotional language and physical development now this is important because we need to differentiate uh, usually in the undergraduate days we are taught development is uh, different growth is different so growth is quantitative development is qualitative when we talk of ecd so ecd is a generic term that encompasses both the quantitative as well as the qualitative aspect so it is a composite uh, indicator uh, when we say early childhood development what the early childhood development period stands for it encompasses as we said quite distinct phases first is from conception to birth and birth to 3 years this is the most important phase the emphasis is on first 1000 days starting from the conception to birth and the first two years of life preschool and pre primary years is the next important target group and some definitions also include children up to 8 years of age as into the early childhood so initially when we are focusing the initial focus always remains on the first 1000 days and then to the pre primary age preschool years and followed by the pre primary years this is a big opportunity every 1 dollar invested in early childhood development can provide a return or up to 17 times no other scheme no other financial scheme in the world gives you the return the way and the mainly the return is in the uh, terms of human development which is the most important thing there is a debate between nature and nurture now here it is the nurturing care for early childhood development is a concept which has been given by who unicef and other uh, developers and other uh, ngos which is now accepted the world over it is the care given as in the early phase of development which is more important care given by the primary care giver that is the parents or other care givers which is important for the optimal development of early uh, for the optimal development in the early childhood what is the importance of nurturing care the lancet recognizes it what nurturing care envelops early childhood development comprises all the essential elements for a child to grow physically mentally and socially so what are the main five components of nurturing care the main five components are nutrition 
हेल्थ केयर लव एंड सिक्योरिटी प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम डेंजर दैट इज अफ्टी एंड सिक्योरिटी एंड अर्ली लर्निंग अपॉर्चुनिटी इफ वी जस्ट सी द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ अ पीडियट्रीशियन एंड हाउ द पीडियट्रीशियन कॉरेस्पॉन्ड्स और इंटरक्ट विद द पेरेंट्स फॉर केयर ऑफ अ चाइल्ड the pediatrician always is interested and the parents are also interested with the pediatrician in only nutrition and healthcare primarily the pediatrician to the parent don't talk and about the safety and the security environment about early learning opportunities and responsive care giving so these are the domains of nurturing care which are important and which are so long neglected other than the health and nutrition which are also not very well taken care of but yes there is some input to that but these three are totally missing from the pediatrician's model now nurturing care is fostered by a supportive uh, ecological model if you say nurturing care initially is to be given by the parents and caregivers then they have to be provided the capacity of providing nurturing care this can be definitely given by the pediatrician and then is the health nutrition education social and child protection services that are also available to the pediatrician and the parents and finally there need to be national policies available which promote the nurturing care as i said nurturing care for early childhood development is a holistic approach to survive and thrive so it is not only about survival and thrival but it is primarily about transforming the health and human potential and the five components i have already highlighted so there are various evidence based interventions that can help in early childhood development starting from the adolescent and adulthood carrying on into the pregnancy especially for the girl into the labor birth neonatal period and fancy early childhood and school age so uh, i'll not go into the details of each individual uh, intervention but most importantly in the antenatal period the routine antenatal care and care of uh, fetal health and growth in the safe delivery immediate newborn care neonatal disease prevention and infectious disease prevention and high quality childhood care and education programs include those high tech intervention uh i think as i said uh, 45% children under 5 are at risk this is the india figure and if we see what are the uh, burden in india of not being having optimal developmental uh, potential is that children under 5 as i said under 5 mortality is was reported as 37 per 1000 young children at poor risk of poor development are in 2015 this figure uh sorry yeah so this figure was uh, is uh, around uh, uh, almost 45% young children are at risk of poor development and if you see the risk by the sex it is not that the boys or girls are exposed more than one another but it is almost equal in girls and boys and there is a little difference between the rural and the urban population also the going to the different um, uh domains of nurturing care uh, if we talk about health and see the present data care seeking for childhood pneumonia is better than everything else but antenatal care only available for 50% postnatal visits available for 65% this is a dismal uh, situation here in the field of nutrition we have hardly shown any improvement in last 10 years uh, early initiation of breastfeeding exclusive breastfeeding only 40 to 50% uh as per the latest figures and this is really striking minimum acceptable diet is only available to uh, less than 10% children of india so this is uh, in the field of nutrition that it is highly deficient early learning there is hardly any data about the early learning opportunities at home especially for the young infants and toddlers and other children that include early stimulation at home what are the play things at home what the, should be the toys at home what should be the child children books in the home no data is available how often the parents read to the children how often often parents show books to the children at this in this era the only uh, the only early opportunity that the children get is looking at the screen or looking at the mobile phone and or any other such device and that's what the parents also look at and what also the child also look at 
so this is a very important subject that needs to be that parent needs to be told which is very important for nurturing care that child need to be provided the early learning opportunities then responsive care giving responsive care giving again a comparative country data is urgently needed and there are hardly any uh, fora on which the pediatrician and the parents interact on responsive care giving and how do they learn what what do is what is meant by responsive care giving and not a forced uh, care giving at all similarly security and safety of our children is supreme the security and safety can be at home the security and safety can be at play the security and safety can be on the road and also not only these but the basic amenities provision of basic amenities like sanitation safe water and uh, other things are also part of security and safety so some things can be brought about nurturing care at the level of the parents and then the few things at the national level both are important if we see what are the policies or what is the environment that we currently have we have a paid maternity leave we have national minimum wages we have the ims act and we also abide by to the international conventions of right of children right of person with disability and crc protocol so we have enough environment that promotes nurturing that promotes or that can promote fostering of nurturing care what is required now is the training of the pediatrician and then empowering the parents to provide nurturing care through this bridge of pediatrician in the country the sdg uh, by 2030 ensure it says ensure that all girls and boys have access to quality ecd quality care and quality pre primary education and this is important the time is ticking fast and we hardly have 8 uh, or 9 years left to achieve this indicator uh, and let's hope that we need to achieve this so as to achieve the exact human developmental potential health seeking behavior has to increase has to improve primarily health seeking behavior current days is only for medical attention or immunization parents visit the doctor only for these condition but none for well child visits so there is a definite need for a paradigm shift in the practices for parents and families for pediatricians healthcare workers and for policy makers where well child visits are to be encouraged definitely and in this scenario especially in the covid era the already the visits to the uh doctor has already decreased because of the obvious fears but whenever the things resume to normalcy a well child visits now if not uh, a physical maybe at least virtual or in by telemedicine should be made a definite part and parcel of the care of a child and in this the indian academy of pediatrics advocates at least 10 well child visits in the first 3 years of life so the need of the r involve the private health sector promote the concept of well child visits and advocacy and sensitization on ecd to parents and policy makers that's what we are trying to do that's what we are trying to integrate the nc ecd in the day to day practice of the pediatrician so we are trying to inculcate all these components of nurturing care which we have already talked about so these are the components of good health Uh, again continuing to the same components of optimal nutrition components of early learning components of again opportunities for early learning responsive parenting that includes sleep hygiene that include promoting emotional wellness parent child interaction bonding activities and safety and security of the children coming to what iap is doing in this regard in 2021 this is the action plan we have collaborated with who unicef and other agencies international agencies on early childhood development in the beginning of the year in february the mumbai pedicon was devoted to early nurturing care for early childhood development since then we have had task force meetings on including early childhood development in ugpg curriculum and also a position paper is being readied which will be uh, released very soon a special supplement of indian pediatrics is being brought about on early childhood development this is the mega program 
flagship program of IAP Nurture ECD. And if God wishes, Corona not withstanding in between, hopefully we should be able to train 8,000 to 10,000 pediatrician in next coming one year on the nurturing care for ECD so that they can act as a bridge between the IAP and between the uh, parents to foster nurturing care for improving early childhood development. The goal, improvement in outcomes related to holistic child health, growth and development. The prime emphasis will be in the early childhood between zero to three years. So this will include capacity building of pediatrician, popularize the concept of well child visits and to help parents develop their caregiver skills. We have already had the national uh, meeting on this and uh, surely next two months, we will be having the zonal training of trainers in all the five zones, followed by 200 district workshop, each workshop enrolling 40 to 50 pediatricians. So overall training 8,000 to 10,000 pediatrician in next one year. So science is start early, conception to three years, expand the political will through the SDGs, create conditions, policy environments, and use the health sector as an entry point. The focus is on conception to three years of age because this is the most susceptible age group and uh, there is neglect in favor of child survival and pre-primary education and their opportunities are available for intervention through the health services. We just need to grab those opportunities and carry out the plans as the key principles of ECD, I repeat again, summarize much of what children learn. They learn when they are very young, under two years of age primarily, and still the learning continues up to at least five to six years of age. They need a safe environment as they learn. They need consistent loving attention from at least one person or the caregiver. They learn by playing and trying things out and by observing and copy what others do. So they need to provide it an environment which is conducive to their development. Improving ECD, early childhood development, is the key to achieving the sustainable development goals. If we see these sustainable development goals, eradicating poverty, hunger, improve nutrition, ensure healthy lives, and so on and so forth, all of these sustainable developmental goals include some intervention related to early childhood development. So that's why I said in the beginning, $1 invested is equal to 17 times uh, return in the early childhood development. So this is the key to achieving the sustainable development goal. But I am sure that with the help of all the force of 32,000 pediatricians across the country, the concept has to go into their minds and it has to prove a result that will be seen in the next three years across the nation in improving the ultimate childhood developmental potential. Thank you. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts.